In this video, we are going to discuss Charles Law. Look at the diagram we have here. This is the apparatus for the experiment of Charles Law. You can see we have a thermometer and then we have a ruler over here and we have a capillary tube okay which is attached to the ruler okay and then we have a, a beaker sorry here's the beaker and we have eyes okay you can see the eyes over there and then we have a bunsen burner which is used to heat up the water in the beaker and then uh, actually we can see this actually this is the magnification of this part okay we draw it over here so that we have a better look at it okay now um, the, the experiment is started with the temperature of zero degrees Celsius so at zero degrees Celsius we have the length of L over here okay the length here represents the volume of trapped air and then you can see here this is sulfuric acid okay the, the sulfuric acid actually avoid uh, the trapped air from escape okay so we have sulfuric acid so that the trapped air can uh, can be measured and it is represent by, represented by L. Uh, uh, the length here actually uh, representing uh, the volume of trapped air. Okay, now um, the experiment is started with zero because we have eyes. Okay, and we have certain length. So uh, we can plot the graph, it is somewhere here. And then, uh, since we have Bunsen burner, so the, te the temperature of water will increase. And uh, when the temperature increases, the volume also increases. Okay. So when, when you have uh, the plot, now you can um, draw a line, the pass fit line joining the, all the plots there. Okay, um, okay, before we go on, let us try to talk about the hypothesis of the experiment. Okay, the higher the temperature, the larger the volume of the gas. You should write uh, the hypothesis in your notebook. And what about the manipulated variable? The manipulated variable is the uh, temperature. Okay the temperature because we heat it up and uh, our responding variable is the volume and the volume is represented by the length of column of air so this is our responding variable and what about our constant variable constant variable is the pressure the pressure within this trapped air and also the fixed mass of air because air here cannot escape so the mass of air is constant now let us go back here we are trying to create a relationship between volume and temperature so what we do next is we have to um, do draft extrapolation so draw a dotted line now you can see the intersection between the line and uh, the temperature axis so in the actual experiment uh, the intersection happens at ne negative 273 degrees Celsius so our assumption here um, the molecule of air does not have kinetic energy anymore so the volume will become zero okay so we have to do modification to this graph so what you do you need to do is we have to shift this axis over here so you have 
the axis of volume over here then you can draw this uh, this graph here so now you have a new graph okay and the temperature is Kelvin because this is zero Kelvin and zero degrees Celsius here is 273 degrees Celsius and Kelvin is the unit for absolute temperature okay please remember this absolute temperature and then let us try to create uh, the relationship for this uh, graph volume is directly proportional to absolute temperature and we can derive formula from this graph so volume is directly proportional to absolute temperature and mathematically you can write v equals k t where k is a constant so you can write k equals v over t so as we show we have uh, many situations uh, so v and t we can write v1 over t1 equals k in uh, situation one and you can write v2 over t2 equals k in situation two since k is the same so we can write v1 over t1 equals v2 over t2 so this is the formula for charles law please prepare a good note for your own revision from this video